Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree. And today we're in New Orleans. It's the Crescent City Classic. It's a 10K run. It's been going on for 37 years. We're out here with Blue Runner. And I tell you what, they got it going on. We're going to be cooking over 1,500 pounds of jambalaya, and we're going to be feeding over 20,000 people. This is going to be big. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. It's early in the morning out here. I got one of the guys, Doug McCory. How's it going? Going good. Going good. Hopefully this uh, weather's going to hold off for yeah, us. Yeah, it's kind of chilly out this yeah, morning. Yeah, that uh, frost time come through, and hopefully we're not going to get no pile of rain with it. Well, we got a monumental thing going on right here with this yeah. jambalaya cooking. Now, oh, yeah. yeah we, pot, uh, the pot you have is 80 gallons? It's about 80 gallons, right. I think I can do just sausage. We can roll 150 pounds of sausage and uh, 150 pounds of rice in it. That's a lot. That's a lot. So one batch already came out. Right. One of the pots. One of them's done finished, and they got the second batch on it going with the 150. And they wiping the pot out on another one. Mine will be ready in about 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Now, to how many pounds are we cooking today all together? 1,500 pounds of jambalaya. 1,500 uh, pounds. 1,500 pounds of rice, 1,500 pounds of sausage. And you know, we're using a Blue Runners jambalaya base. Yeah. Uh, good product right there. Yes, uh, indeed. We, uh, I think we got 960 gallons of that here. Wow. Wow. We're going to feed some people. Uh, there'll be 20, <laughs> 25,000 people here today. And I think they're rolling about 300 gallons of red beans. Yes, indeed. All right, I'm going to let you get back to the pot. We're going to see what see you uh, pulling it out of there. All right, Rodney. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. got Larry Roussel out here. How's it going, Larry? Going well, great. You can see this action going right now, Doug. Man, this is really nice out here. Yeah, Rodney. Right. I tell you what, man. We uh, we got a crew. Blue Runner got their liquid. Uh, Veron Sausage from River Paris Food. 45 minutes, these jambalaya's are ready. He's pot. 150 pounds of rice, 150 pounds of sausage. 30 gallons of blue run liquid, done deal, baby. Wow. And now we got to do this three times. You got to fill we're it do, all up three we're times. We're doing three batches. Each pot, yeah, by the time we finish after about three and a half, four hours, we're going to have done 1,500 pounds of rice, 1,500 pounds of sausage. That's a lot. Now, now y'all cooking it, and y'all got the scooping girls here to scoop it out. What we got some doing? scoopers, yeah. Brienne and uh, Elizabeth, that's our main scooping team right there. But gotcha. Everybody else fills in as needed. Gotcha. Whatever they, Whatever has to be done, we're going to do it, all right? It's like an ant colony under here. Everybody now, pulling their weight a little now, bit. As impressive as this is, right? The most impressive thing you're going to see today is our production line when we start putting these in eight ounce cups. We're going to have 15,000 people going to eat jambalaya here today. That's a lot and, of people. And we won't have a line, all right? That's wow. our goal. Wow. Be tough to. The challenge, but we did it two years ago. We're going to do it again. Y'all heard it, y'all. We're feeding at least 15,000 people. Larry, I'm going to let you get back to work. All right, y'all. got another crew out here stirring on another pot. Mark Anderson from Poche Plantation. How y'all doing, folks? And Kenny Spears over here on the other paddle. Kenny, my right-hand man. Takes, takes care of all the activities around the plantation for me. Yes, you got to have a right-hand man. Yeah, and a left-hand man, too. Yeah, he needs both hands on this paddle. He sure does. <laughs> That's a big pot you got there, bro. Yeah, it serves about, about 80, 80 gallons right here. Wow. Now, this is the second round on this pot. Yo, sure is. Got two, I think, two more rounds to go, huh? Yeah, wow. It's amazing. So you, what you're doing right now is trying to come to a ball, right? Well, look, if I told you I knew about cooking, I know about stirring. Oh, you the stirring. Okay. <laughs> Ball ready to a ball. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and once it comes to a ball, we'll be adding the rice into right, it. Yep. And I heard him saying the rice sits in there for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yes, sir. And then you flip the rice. Yep, that's where I get, get all my muscles from. Yeah. Yeah, well, well that's better than running the marathon. <laughs> Here's what's running in front of me. I hear you. All right, fellas, I'm going to let y'all get back to it. 
All right, y'all, we got good help coming from all over. Larry, who all we got Who we got here? Well, look, we got some volunteers from all over. They got running from all over the world, but volunteers, we got them coming from Houston, Texas, all right? Wow. Yeah, so uh, this is a mom-daughter team. They do a lot of volunteer for all kind of charity events. Love working with these two wonderful yes, ladies, so here they are, all the way from Texas. I'm gonna get y'all's names. I'm Brody Torberson. And Chris Torberson. All right, now what's y'all's role? Are y'all gonna be servers? Or? We are, we're yes. gonna be scooping, uh, scooping jambalaya for all the uh, runners. All right. Well, actually, actually right, they're all gonna be the head servers, all right? Oh. They, they, they got com complete control of the serving assembly. That's what I want. This is the professionals. Oh, definitely. And look, two years ago, we did this with 15,000 people without having a line. Last year, we started a little, little later on the service, not because of us, but we just from instruction. But this year, right. I said, we're, when, we, when Chris says serve, we're going to start boxing those or uh, plating those jambalayas, and nobody's going to stand in line to eat today. Well, you got it. Well, we're going to listen for the word. When you say serve, we're going to go. Yeah. Thank y'all, ladies, for talking with me. All right, y'all, we done made it to another big old pot. We got two guys stirring on this one. Let's get their names. Dean Chapata from Metairie. And Corey Fisher from Gonzales. Man, y'all got it going on here. Now, this one looks a little bit different. It's uh, it's bigger sausage in this one? Yeah, on this one, it's a little bit bigger sausage that they use. Um, I think a lot of it was donated. So um, it's a little bit bigger cut, but it should. It cooks just as good. Now, where y'all at here? What are y'all, y'all waiting on a boil? Yeah, we put all the sausage in and all the liquid. Once it comes to a ball, then we put 150 pounds of rice. Once that comes to a ball, then we'll uh, leave it about 10 or 15 minutes, shut the fire off, and about 20 minutes should be ready to go. Gotcha. And then we'll get fired up for another one. Yeah. What's well, the first round, second round on this pot, huh? Yeah, on these big pots, um, Mr. Doug's got a big pot over there. They just started getting eat, uh, bought these for this year. And uh, we'll most probably do maybe four or five on these big pots. Wow. Wow, well, that's a lot of jambalaya, man. All right, I'm going to let y'all get back to it. Y'all, good jambalaya going right here. We're going to see some product in a little bit. We're going to get some people tasting some, too. <laughs> All right, y'all, look who I done found out here. President, Mr. Billy Nungas. How's doing, it going? Doing great, man. Doing great. I can't believe the people out here. Uh, all the way, I just came from down the French Quarter, and it's people from there all the way here, walking both ways, getting on the buses. It's just uh, an incredible crowd with that little mist in the air. Yeah. You thought people would stay home. Not in New Orleans. They're, uh, they're die coming hard. out. They're diehards. Well, we got a lot of good diehard cooks out here. We've been out here since four daylight. Done got our second rain on us out here today. Well, and these guys is putting it on out it's here. It's kind of special. My favorite dish growing up is my mama made blue runner red beans and rice with a little special taste of love and everything else. So it's kind of ironic uh, me being here with the blue runner people. Uh, one of the best dishes in New Orleans. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, you going to put an apron on and get on uh, down I'm in I'm going to help out any way I can. Absolutely. All right. All I right. came to work. You got it. Thank you for stopping and talking with us. Glad to be here. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, y'all. This, this is one of the crucial points right here. This is where the rice is going in, right? Yes, sir. Now, how much rice is going in? This is going to be uh, 50? 150 pounds. 150 pounds of rice, y'all. And you look like you wouldn't think it fit, but it's an 80-gallon pot, so we got plenty of room for some rice. Now, uh, once you get the rice in, we're gonna let it go. Let it boil a little we're while. We're gonna let it boil about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna uh, cut the fire off and let it sit for 20. Sit for 20. And roll it and let it sit another 10. Okay. And then it's ready to eat. And it's ready to eat. Man, that's some big old boxes of rice right there. Yes, indeed. Y'all, that's jambalaya right there. That's how you make a big old pot of jambalaya. Another box. 50 pound boxes of rice. So you're gonna let that, you're gonna boil that a little while. The rice balls for about 10 minutes. Boil it for about 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna let y'all get to it. All right, this is where they're dumping the, this is the sauce, the, the, the juice mixture, right? Now how many uh, buckets, five gallon buckets are going in there? Six, 30 gallons. Six, 30 gallons of liquid. And that's a pile of uh, sausage you had in there too. 150 pounds. 150 pounds of sausage. Boy, that make you want to get in there and swim around a little bit too. That looks really good. So what now? You're going to bring it back up and get it to a ball? We bring it to a ball. Once it comes to a ball, then uh, we have 150 pounds of rice. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all, another pot filling up. Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats now has more to offer. The same high-quality seafood, live and bald crawfish, 
crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, gar balls, and local catfish just to name a few. Now selling your favorite smokehouse products. Homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. River Rats Bar and Grill, an oasis on the A Meat River, located in French Settlement off Highway 16. Hashtag best place to eat and party. With amazingly delicious original and traditional food. Indoor and outdoor seating with a friendly and entertaining staff. Open seven days a week with happy hour Monday through Friday and game day specials. So come by car, bike, or boat. You won't forget the fun times you've had at River Rats Bar and Grill. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week. Cooking demos on Saturdays and customer service that will help you get the job done. All right, y'all, I got the man out here who's actually in charge of the bean department. Let's get his name. Yes, sir, I'm Richard Serrera. How you doing? Now, the beans were cooked last night. Yes, sir, we cooked about 600 gallons of red beans last night. Woohoo! 600 gallons! Yeah, a lot of beans. Uh, he said y'all stayed up, but he said he got one hour of sleep. Lewis said yeah, he did. Yeah, our crew at the factory started cooking at 9 o'clock last night. They went and slept for an hour, then they drove it out here this morning. We're out here this morning. I got my guys in the back. We're cooking about... Well, uh, about 600 pounds of rice as well. Wow, wow. So we're going full steam. So to, so to feed 20,000 people, y'all, you got to get ahead of the game. We're a couple, we're an hour or so out oh, yeah. right we, now. We were here at 5 o'clock this morning. Pots have been boiling since then. So what they're doing, they're scooping up the rice. Yeah, these guys are getting ahead of the game, putting the rice in the bowls, and then we'll put the hot beans on it and serve it out in a little while. All right. Well, I'm going to let y'all get back to work. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you for stopping and talking with me. Anytime. You have a good day. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got the man putting it all together here, Mr. Lewis Ramos. How's it going? How you doing, Ronnie? Pretty good, pretty good. Good to see L you, man. A little chilly this morning. Oh, my God. Windy, windy, but, you know, we're going to make it through. Oh. You know, race days, you know. Yes, indeed. It's time to, you know, eat some jambalaya and beans, you know. Now, this operation y'all got going is really big. This is something i never seen, something on this scale. How many pounds? of jambalaya, is there 1,500 pounds? Yeah, we cook 1,500 pounds of rice, we do 15 pounds, 1,500 pounds of sachets, and 300 of jambalaya mix, blue runner mix. Amazing. Yeah, we should have total maybe 20, 000, about 15,000 servings. Gotcha, you know. gotcha. And, and plus, you have the red beans and rice also. Correct, correct. Another what uh, I think uh, Richard said 600 pounds yeah we do some 600 pounds and we put about 300 pounds of sachets in there and we cook it just like we cook it for our daily use of the plants you know now now you can't do all this without good help oh you got that right I know? see a whole bunch back here good helpers you got oh, and yeah. you got several people on your crew that yeah uh, this is all the volunteer in New Orleans schools, you know, because this is this function. The goal is to raise like a million dollars for different charity organizations. Wow. And there's some other volunteers from New Orleans area. From Ascension Parish, we got Larry Roussel from Motiva and his crew. Can't do it without him. He got no. like 20 guys in there. They're awesome. We got Douglas McCroy. He's been helping me for the last three years also. And we also have a... Uh, Baron Sachs, you know, yes, Baron Sachs, they've been contributing tremendously with the Sachs. Yeah, I seen Buggy back there. Yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> we do we do some, some of the Sachs and some of the own do it on the jambalaya and on the beans. Now, y'all y'all been cooking the beans for 20 years out here for this event. Yeah, we've been doing the red beans for about 20 years now, and the jambalaya, we started doing it three years ago. This is our third year doing the jambalaya now. Gotcha, and this yeah. is a big scale of jambalaya, y'all. Well, I'm going to let you get back to your crew. Mm -hmm get back to getting the work done 
And in a little while, I'm going to come talk to you about that new product y'all got, the Blue Runner beans, the dry. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all. got the big inflatable over there. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all. We're going to get to talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> All right, y'all got some of the first tasters over here. Let's get their names and where they're from. Monica Johnson, New Orleans. Tony Lockhart, New Orleans. Now, how is that jambalaya? Mm. Delicious. Is it Delicious. good? It is very good. All very right. Good. And y'all out here volunteering with? Um, with Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, well y'all enjoy the jambalaya. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> All right, y'all, I caught a couple runners just across the finish line. Let's get their names and where they're from. Max Miller from New Orleans. Pat Gavin from New Orleans. Phil Jones, Metairie. And I was asking, what about the rabbit? He said it's Easter. It's Easter. <laughs> y'all run a lot? Y'all run in these marathons a lot? We do. You do? We actually run together our training. Runs. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. And uh, how was it today, the weather and stuff? It was good for you know, there's cloudy conditions, but it was a little bit wet at the beginning. So uh, the start ended up being slower than you wanted it to be, but in the end, it evened out. What was the strangest thing y'all seen on the whole running route? Oh, the fire truck was pretty interesting. The, the big crowd they had there with, with all the whistles and sirens going. So, gotcha. well, I want to ask you, uh, Easter Bunny, to bring some uh, some some good chocolate to my nieces and nephews this year. Is that all right? Not a problem. <laughs> All right. Thank y'all. All right. All right, y'all. Caught up with a couple of the runners. Let's see how they are. Let's get their names first. I'm Chaz. Rachel. Tom. How was the run? Oh, wonderful. It's a little rainy day, but it was yeah. a nice fun run. But good thing we had delicious food at the end. Yeah, how is it? Oh, wonderful. The runners are the best. The best food. I see you having the red beans. Yep. And they're good? Hot. Yep. And the jambalaya, the jambalaya, how is it? Delicious. All right. Delicious. Up in Beast, New Orleans. Yes, indeed. Thank y'all for talking with us. Yep. Thank you. Cuts and Such Hair Salon is a full-service Paul Mitchell-focused salon. We stay up to date on new trends with continuing education through Paul Mitchell. Call or come by and experience a family-friendly atmosphere. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories with essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. <laughs> All right, y'all, cut up with the Blue Runner Man. Let's get his name, where he's from. My name is Mike Hardy from New Orleans. This is my 25th year running the race. Wow. Yeah, I've been doing it. The first one was, was well, I went on to go to the year 83, actually. But um, it's a How great was it? event. And the race has never been better since Blue Runner took this race over. It's truly, I can say it from experience. <laughs> Serious. This, They've really taken this race to another level. You are the Blue Runner. I am. How was your How blue was your runner. time? How was your time? Forty-eight twenty. Wow. Yeah, was, that's pretty good. I was, I was happy with it. All right. But well, with all this stuff on, you know, yeah, that's uh, yeah. the superpowers. That's what it is. Superpowers. <laughs> well, thanks for talking with us. Okay. All right. Thank you.
All right, y'all, I got a couple runners here. Let's get their names and where they from. Uh, my name is Ian Miller. I'm from uh, the West Bank. I'm Roland. I live in Mid City, but from Abbeville. All right. How'd y'all do in the race? Uh, did all right. Just kind of hung out, you know. We stopped at all the little stops along the way. People were handing out drinks and stuff, so that yes, was nice. Indeed. Now, what made y'all do the, uh, the the crawfish yes. and the and the taco? It's a costume run every year. Whenever you run races seriously, you need to start having fun. Right. So what we do is wear costumes, and then you have to drink and eat everything on the course. If they're oh. offering it, we take it. Yeah. That's right. Gotcha, gotcha. You cannot pass it up. No matter what liquid <laughs> or food item it is, you must eat or drink it. All yeah. right. Well, y'all going to have to come over and get some of these uh, beans and jambalaya, too, from Blue All Runner. Right. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank y'all for talking with me. Thanks, right. man. Thank y'all. All right, y'all, I found somebody out of this world. I found a stormtrooper here, real stormtrooper. Now, uh, who's running for Team Fox. Maybe we can get his helmet off here of this stormtrooper. And we can get his name and where he's from. Uh, I'm David White. Uh, I'm from New Orleans. I'm with the 501st Legion, and I'm here raising money for Team Fox uh, for to fight Parkinson's. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. I, my dad died of Parkinson's like two years ago, so it's very near and dear to me. So right. whenever I get a chance to raise money for him, these guys are doing great work to find a cure for Parkinson's. Very good. How'd you do on the run? Uh, an hour 30. So not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad in the summer. Better than I would do, I would yeah, tell you that. You know, I can only bend my knee like that far, <laughs> so, you know. But you got that gun and all that, though, just in case. Oh, I took it off oh. so I didn't have it banging up against me and stuff, you gotcha, know. Gotcha. I can't shoot straight anyway. It's all right. Well, go Team Fox. Yeah. And thanks for taking a minute to talk with me. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, have a good day. <laughs> all right, y'all. I got one of the workers out here. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm Chris Bobo from Geisman, Louisiana. All right, man. You work in the plan, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. What do you do? Uh, I'm a labor line. I do the cans. We're basically pushing a... Uh, about 50 something crates a day and uh put them through the sweeper and then you know we can make sure everything the labor is tight and right wow wow <laughs> sound like an important job oh yeah something like that now uh y'all got everything cooked out here and all the food starting to serve y'all y'all kind of on the down low now oh yeah yeah now it's time for a little relaxation we've gotcha. been at it since about 2 a.m this morning so yeah 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 we trying to make sure it's real good and real fast y'all got some hours under your belt Oh, yeah, of course. You know, a little benefit don't hurt. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, the line's still coming in. You think we're going to have enough to feed everybody? Uh, we should. We should. We, uh, we think we did about about six six to eight pots today, I believe it was, that we did out here. Amazing so, amounts of food. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's a, it's a true blessing to be out here to help and serve everybody, you know. and It's a great thing that's going on, so we're just glad to be a part of it and, you know, make All a good right. representation. Well, thanks for taking a minute to talk to me. Thank you for talking to me. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. I got the owner of Blue Runner Beans right here, Mr. Ricky Thomas. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good it's a great man. day. Yes, it is. Gas, but the weather's good and cool, and it's been a great road race for the All State Sugar Bowl Crest City Classic. You got some happy people in these lines back here behind us. Well, we're serving a lot of beans and a lot of jambalaya. We'll serve about 25,000 bowls of red beans and rice this morning, and about 20,000 portions of jambalaya to the crowd of about 30,000. Wow. Yeah. And it's a good cool day. It's not hot. It's a beautiful cool day, so it's a good time for a little warm food. Well, we need to tell the people about the new product. So, you know, nobody cooks more red beans than Blue Run Foods. Nobody. Nobody. And we cook more beans by 9 a.m. than the average consumer <laughs> cooks their whole life. So, uh, we know what it means to love red beans. We know what it means to buy great beans and cook them because we cook them every day. Unlike everybody else in the business, we cook them every day. So, we've decided to take our premium select red beans that we source for the best farmers in the United States and make them available to the consumers of Louisiana. I mean, let's face it, some folks want to use grandma's recipe. Right, yeah. right, and start their own. Exactly. So, well, this is a, this is awesome. I can't wait to buy some and try them myself. I'm a, I'm a bean connoisseur. Well, I'm glad you, look, you either, there's two kinds of people. Some like to make them from scratch, some like to eat Blue Runner. Right. Now we can serve the best red beans of both. Yes, indeed. Well, yeah. I want to thank you for that, and thank you for stopping to talk with us. And you're thank doing you. a fine job out here taking care of all these people at the Crescent City Classic. Thank you. Thanks. All right, y'all, we in the VIP tent now. This is where they have the red beans, they have the jambalaya, and they have the gumbo over here, too. So it's really neat. The VIP's got it going on. But this is all the blue workers here. Blue Runner workers, I want to get their names. Kevin. Name? Uh, Kia. Ha, ha, ha. She's busy working there. She ain't 
She can't hardly talk to us. Diana. All right. That's Lewis Jr. over here on the end. They busy serving the people over here. Man, y'all busy, huh? Oh, yeah. They're busy. We love it. We love it. Let's get a look at that gumbo. We're going to look at the gumbo, y'all. Look at that. Oh, it's the seafood with the shrimp and all? Shrimp already in. It got the seafood gumbo already prepared, homemade, as good as you can get to Grandma's Kitchen. Yes, indeed, y'all. You hear it right here. This is the VIP tent. We're going to show y'all around here. All right, y'all. I'm in the VIP tent, and they're tasting some of the food in here, but let's get these uh, diners' names and where they're from. Uh, Natalie Champagne from Homa, Louisiana. Mitch Champagne from Homa, Louisiana. Well, y'all come a good ways. Yeah. Did y'all run? Yes, we did. Y'all did? How'd you do? Don't ask. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. We finished. <laughs> well, uh, how's, the, how's the Blue Runner beans? They're fabulous. I love Blue Runner. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Y'all ran in this race before? Uh, this is the last five years, right? Last five years. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. You we come down every year for us. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. Well, thank y'all for stopping eating and talking with me. Thank, thank you. you for bringing some beans. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all, I got Elizabeth here. How's it going? Very well, very well. Now, I see you got this down to a science. I do. I'm getting faster as the morning goes on. Now, how many have you scooped so far? Um, there's <laughs> a thousand bowls set up on my second box. Wow. So, so wow. I'm, I'm Let's watch along. her in action. We're going to watch her in action, y'all. She's steadily filling them up here. Well, I'm them as fast as Larry's taking them. At least I'm oh. trying to. And then they, they got all these people in line over here taking them just as fast as he's sending them over there. As fast as we're putting them out, they're eating them. Well, at least we got a good system going here. Yeah. A little assembly line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, she can back. She can do about three every five seconds too. Well, that's a good job. Keep up the good work. Look like we still got plenty, Larry. We got plenty, 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 plenty. But well, we did a good job. Okay. Yes, indeed. This is a lean, mean fight machine right here. Right. Good hey. job, y'all. Group. 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 Awesome job. Yes, indeed. You can't do it with good without good help. I mean, you got to have this many people to feed this many. Look at the line. The line goes all the way around the stadium out there. Exactly. So I'm going to tell you, somebody's got a supervisor. Yeah. Take a beer break. You got to have that. Now, how are you getting along over here? You're the spoon oh, guy. I'm the, I'm the spoon man. We rolling. Gotcha. Now, uh, you get ahead of it. You got 24 per tray. Yeah. You put, throw down 24 spoons, put them in, done deal. All right. I like the system y'all got. And then it. Then on the end over here, this That's the server, right? these, these are the pushers. Yeah, they, they're pushing it out. And this is all the hungry people over here on the end. They, and and they're so hungry, they don't even want to stop and talk. All right, y'all. We're going to keep feeding some people. We're going to end up feeding 20,000 people. All right, y'all. What a day. What a day with Blue Runner Beans. We've been out here at City Park in New Orleans for the Crescent City Classic. It's been amazing. I didn't know you could put together this many good people and feed this many people, y'all. There's a little bit left. There's some left. The line has finally died down. I believe we fed about 20,000 people. I'd like to give thumbs up to Blue Runner on a good job. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.